What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel. We're back. It's been a few days, but we have been uploading regularly. So if you missed any of the videos, check those out. We will be back streaming later on today. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the four players you might have got from your mini game. So you already got Neymar. Now you've got a chance of getting Kobel, Costa Ronaldo, or Maradona. Maradona and Costa are boosters. Obviously, we'll go through all of that. Bit of a review, bit of a training guide, and we'll get into a bit of action with them later. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll catch you in a sec. All right, so if you've logged in and you've scored pretty much all your penalties, you will now have completed your third lap. You've already got Neymar, you've already got your trainer XP, and now this is the third lap reward. So Kobel, Maradona, Ronaldo, and Costa Corta are all available in this selection. So you're going to get one of the four. We're going to do a review and training guide of these players and then quickly go through them, right, and show you what I, what I think I like about these cards and what I don't like about these cards. So first up, we have Kobel, who's a goalkeeper that's 194 centimeters, pretty decent, and his build is quite easy. I mean, it's going to be a very, very simple build for this guy. You can train him in a different way, but I think this is the best one for him because you want to get the most bang for your buck. I don't think he's good enough to be leading the line as your number one choice goalkeeper. I still think Donnarumma standard edition is probably better, but that is the build that we've gone for here. 6, 11, and 9 into goalkeeper 1, 2, and 3. Now, obviously, you can mix a little bit around. You could put a couple of bit of aerial strength in to get his jump up to 90 if you want to with the boost. But with this boost here, you're going to be getting 90 with the manager boost to awareness, reflexes, and reach. So I don't think a lot of people are going to be interested in him if they do spin him, but I know a lot of people have got him. For me, he's not really top tier, okay? Next up, we have Maradona. We're going to concentrate on classic number 10, 23-year-old Maradona, Diego Maradona, who is a beastly player in this. Now, there's two ways of building this guy with his technique booster, okay, which gives a plus two to ball control, dribble and tight possession and low pass. And of course, his player skills are going to come into it with his player ID as well. He does not have one touch pass. That's a big concern for this card if you're going to be playing him as an SS or an AMF that doesn't shoot, right? If you don't shoot a lot of curled shots, if you don't use his player ID, if you don't use his skill set, I don't think that Maradona is going to be meta, 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 um, because obviously, you know, SSs need to be able to do it all. Maradona is slightly limited because of his size, but he is a beast. Now, what we want to do with Maradona, lads, with this build, which is 86618, we want to max out as many stats as possible to make him a beast, right, and do what he does best, right, which is run at the dribblers and not lose the ball. Balance at 93 is huge, acceleration at 90 is huge, tight possession at 88 with the plus two to that uh, boost with the manager is going to be massive as well. We're also going to be getting a plus four to ball control, dribbling, and of course low pass with his booster. That's going to be a huge thing. I would definitely recommend to give him one touch pass, 100%. I would think that one touch pass, no matter what position you play him, is going to be huge for this card because the rest of his card is quite decent. I think he can replace Messi if you don't have one of the upper tier Messi's, right? Like the really good Messi's. Next up, we have Cristiano. So this is 38-year-old current day Cristiano. Still beasting, still an absolute legend, but not the GOAT version of a card of Ronaldo that we possibly are waiting on or would have liked, okay? I'm still looking for the prime Cristiano Ronaldo card, legend card, okay? Which we might never get, but let's see. Player skills are not too bad. He's missing a couple the same as Maradona. Um, big problem with Cristiano Ronaldo's card, lads, is going to be his balance, as you see there with 64. There's nothing we can really do to get that up uh, because he doesn't have booster. He doesn't have enough progression points to actually be able to raise that up. Rest of his card is pretty decent. All you want from Ronaldo, lads, is to get him into the box as much as possible. He plays way above his stats that way, and that has a lot to do with his offensive awareness, which is at 93 here with a plus 12 to that. We're going 5 into shooting, 4 into aerial strength, 12 into dexterity, 8 into dribbling, and 7 into lower body. With the boost and the manager boost, we're going to have 85 speed, 85 acceleration. Kicking power is going to be off the charts. Jump is going to be 85 as well. Balance is going to be 76, which is a bit limited for Ronaldo. I think I would have liked to see that a little bit higher. He also has 85 finishing and 85 dribbling, but it's all about that offensive awareness. Knock on a couple of skills to him. One touch pass is a definite for Cristiano. I definitely feel that you should be playing him beside somebody that's a little bit more mobile. Ronaldo Messi maybe or Mar Maradona when you get him as well. Last but not least, we have probably the best card in this selection. Now, I know a lot of people rave about Araujo, who the release is the big time card. I do feel that this is probably going to be one of the best 
fullbacks in the game. <clears throat> Excuse me. So currently we do have wan in my opinion, or Tommy Yashu, who are the best right backs that can also kind of play a little bit more centrally if you need them. But this guy, lads, is an absolute monster. He is a beast. Defensive fullback. He's got every player skill apart from aerial superiority. You're not really worried about that because we are going to be playing him with very high stats, okay? He's just going to be an absolute monster in the air for you with this build. And I'm going to show you very, very quickly here, right? The thing about Costa that I like is how mobile he is, right? While still having that defensive capabilities with all the player skills, all the stats. One slight concern with him is that you are going to be wasting a couple of points in his defensive engagement, which is already set at 90 and his aggression is quite low. I would have liked that and this card would be perfect if this card was like 85 defensive engagement and 75, 76 aggression. That would have been a god tier card and I think one of the most meta center backs. Does he kind of get into that category now of Tommy Yashu? Does he get into that category of Araujo? I still think Van Dyke is an absolute beast. But yeah, I do really, really like this card. The more I look at these stats, even from a base level, it's just a really nice stat, uh, stat line. He's got a wavering form. He's got B rating. We have two different builds of Costa Gorta, but I'm going to probably focus on just his center back build right here, right now. Even though he's down as a left back, I will be kind of thinking that he can play either left or right fullback because he's just so goddamn good. Like, look at his stats that you have here. <clears throat> and there's a reason why we're staying on these stats for a little bit longer, right? The reason is we want to have a look at what we can do with his uh, acceleration to get that up into that level there where we know we're going to be doing with him is getting him, you know, as a center back that's going to be able to move off the ball because you can only defend with one player at one time, right? So if Costa Corta has got that mobility, you know that you're going to be able to do it all at the backs, right? So this is the build that we've gone for, 5, 7, 10, 14, and 5 into goalkeeper 1. Now, the reason we've gone for goalkeeper 1 here is to get that jump up as much as we possibly can. Yes, you can throw it into aerial strength and you can get a plus 2 to that, or else you can get 4 more into jump or 5 more into jump, which I think is the key to this card, especially if you're playing him as a centre-back. Now, if we are doing a left-back or a right-back defensive, we can take a little bit of defence away. As I, <coughs> as I said, you are wasting a little bit of defensive stats there with the defensive engagement being maxed out from the rip, but you can throw it into acceleration and speed. But this is an unbelievable centre-back card. It's a left-back masquerading as one of the best CBs in the game. Don't worry about play style. Don't worry that he's down as a defensive full-back. He is an absolute beast. So, lads, let me know what you guys think. Obviously, we've spent a little bit of time. I'll actually show you the second build for Costa Corta here, which I think is the one that I was just talking about, right? It's going to be a little bit different than his defensive centre-back build. This is more of a mobile agile, getting up and down the flank a little bit, but by still having... Don't worry too much about speed, lads. Honestly, don't worry too much about speed. People get confused. I am working on a couple of videos over the Christmas period that I'm going to be showing you, you know, some kind of things that just don't really make sense in terms of speed versus acceleration and positioning. It's all about positioning and what your AI are doing off the ball when you're not controlling them. That is the key. It doesn't really matter about speed for defenders that much. Obviously, it does a little bit, but we'll get into that in more detail. So that is it for me, lads. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I will be back very, very soon, and I hope to see you guys in the stream later. Peace.